Hello, everybody. Um, <coughs> Christmas core class. I think I uh, promised you another couple of core classes, so here we go. So just uh, come into a comfortable kneeling position. We're going to start in uh, child pose. So whatever your comfortable child pose is, uh, either wide knees, <coughs> allows your sort of belly to hang down a little bit further and release your forehead to the floor or come onto fists or block forearms, forehead, relax everything down, gentle swaying of your hips and just feel internally, uh, feel that squeak in your hips and then breathing nice and steadily, nice and deeply, letting everything go, relaxing, breathing, And then nice and slowly come up and <coughs> come into uh, downward dog. So hands to the top of the mat, tuck your toes and then straighten up and just bicycle the legs nice and steady into downward dog. Breathing, extending, bending the legs, uh, pushing your bum back, extending to your fingertips from your hips. And then nice and slowly from downward dog into plank. Okay, adjust the position if it's not right. Squeeze hands to toes. Inhale, come back up, downward dog. So just come hips, lift hips, bum to the ceiling, push into your heels a little bit, bend your knees if you need to. Take a breath in. And then back into plank. Again, squeezing toes to your hands, hands back to toes, tuck the chin in, engage the muscles of your legs, inhale, come back up, down the dog, final time, into plank, squeeze everything together, and then back up into downward dog. Okay, bend the knees, okay, bring your knees just above the ground into bear pose. Okay, just hold that position and we're just going to sway the whole body backwards and forwards, trying to keep the knees as close to the ground as you can without putting them down. Okay, bending back, bum to the bottom of the mat. Okay, breathe as you come forward. Come as far forward as you can comfortably, mind your wrists. Coming back, bending the knees, bum to heels. Coming forward once more. Final time, and then back, bump to heels, and then bring your knees to the floor, and then right leg comes forward into low lunge, knee to the floor, inhale, arms come up, and then just hold, just feel that area around here, that hip flexor, that press it to the ground. Okay, curl your spine up to the hip, fingers up to the heavens, take a breath in, palms together, <coughs> and then left uh, elbow hooks over that front thigh, and then just gently allow the body to twist naturally, take a breath in, and then exhaling, use the exhale to twist a little bit further. If you can, focus your dristies up to the ceiling or down at the floor. Okay, whichever one, but keep your head steady and stable. Beautiful twist. Release, come back, hands to the floor, and then swap over. Left leg comes forward. Okay, make sure you're nicely balanced before you come up with your arms. Again, feel that opposite hip flexor, the other hip flexor. Soften, relax, arms to the ceiling sternum forwards and up, pubic bone releasing down and forwards, breathe, palms together, hook the elbow, allow your body to naturally twist, get your belly out of the way of your thigh, take a breath in, as you exhale press into your leg and focus either on the ceiling or down on the floor. Nice and slowly, come back into tabletop, come onto your forearms, 
and then walk your knees back. We're going to come into forearm plank. Now you can either do that uh, on this position in your knees or the full position. So wherever your comfortable position is, make sure you're pressing into your toes, pushing your heels back, squeezing elbows to tootsies or knees, knees to tootsies, and squeeze, nice deep breath in, and then hip dips. So release the left hip to the floor, come up. Exhale, right hip, inhale, come up. Exhale, left hip. Exhale, right hip. Inhale, left hip. And back up to the neutral position, take a nice deep breath in. Knees to the floor, if they're not already there. Thighs to the floor. Come into Sphinx Pose. Okay, just allow that back to relax. Okay, the upper spine to curl. Tuck your chin in. And remember, press into your elbows, pull them back to your hips, push your hips forward, and then level your gaze. Take a couple of breaths. Beautiful. nice and slowly coming back up into forearm tabletop and then full tabletop and um, we're going to come into um, side plank so you can do this supported on your knee lower leg comes out in this position here or both legs onto the sides okay so you're nice and stable nice deep breath in wherever you are release your head to the ground pull your hip up release your head to the ground Pull your hip up, release your hip to the ground, pull your hip up, release your hip to the ground, pull your hip up. Beautiful. Okay, release your knee to the floor if it's not already there, and swap over. Okay, so lower leg comes out the other side, release, or onto the side of both feet. Okay, arms in line, nice solid arm, nice deep breath in, exhale. Release the hip to the ground, come up, release 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 into your knee, come into tabletop, bump back to heels, come back into child pose, take a few moments, soften through your whole belly and back, breathe nice and steadily. Really feel the expansion of your lungs into your thighs. Beautiful. And then nice and slowly, hands to the top of the mat, cross the ankles, sit back over, and <coughs> come onto your bum in a sitting position. Okay, now uh, bring your hands uh, around behind you, fingers pointing uh, towards your feet. Okay, we're going to come into a uh, tabletop, uh, <coughs> sort of an L-sit pose as it's called. Okay, so just giving yourself a comfortable position where you know if you press up and lift your hips, you're nicely balanced. And then inhale, press into your feet. Okay, so your knees should move forward over to your ankles, lift your hips, and release your head so uncomfortable. Okay, feeling it in your shoulders. Take a uh, You can press down through your feet and sort of pull your heels back to your fingers and squeeze your glutes, squeeze your bum. Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, release the bum. Come back between your feet. Now if you can, squeeze through your core, flex your feet, keep your legs nice and straight, pull your bum back and then release forward again. Okay, take a breath in as you lift your hips. And then exhale once more, bum back between hands, straighten legs, flex feet, squeeze through your core, hold, one more, lift hips, and then release, bum back through hands, straighten legs, squeeze, and then nice and slowly, bum along the floor, feet to the top of the mat, bring your arms out to the side, nice and slowly, come down a lying position, bend your knees, 
and straighten your legs up to the ceiling. Okay, now you can either just leave your hands palm down or you can bring them underneath your bum if you need sort of more support. Sit on your, the backs of your hands. Okay, so try it both ways, see what you think. Okay, leg raises. So the idea is to keep your leg muscle nicely engaged and do this with um, <coughs> mindfulness. So focus on the feeling in your body as you do this. So instead of just, you know, moving your legs in this autonomous way, feel everything first of all, take a breath in, release your right leg first of all, nice and slowly, nice and controlled, squeeze your core, bring it back up. Once it's back up, release the left. Again, feeling everything. So we're going to do five each side, two on the right, two on the left. Okay, try and link it with the breath. So exhaling as you release the leg, inhaling as you come back up, exhaling, releasing left, inhaling as you come back up, three, fourth right, inhale, come up, fourth left, inhale, come up, fifth right, last one, Inhale, come up, left, final time, back up to the top, flex your feet, release, bend your knees, squeeze into your chest, and just soften, relax, roll from side to side on your low back, and breathe. Okay, release, come into a sort of sit position on the floor. We're going to do some bum lifts. These are relatively tricky. Um, just attempt or squeeze the muscles if you can't quite lift. But the idea is to start in this position here, sitting position, take a breath in. As you exhale, uh, bring the legs up to the vertical, squeeze and lift your bum off the floor as high as you can. Back to the sitting position. Bring your legs, squeeze, lift. You can use your arms to help. Squeeze and lift. Okay, you'll feel it in the core here. Squeeze, lift, bum lifts, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring your feet to the floor, soles together, allow your knees to flop out to the sides, palms facing up, relax through your body, breathe. A couple of breaths here. And then nice and slowly lift your knees, arms in between, grab hold of your tootsies, Okay, come into happy baby pose. Uh, knees either side of your torso. Try and bring your knees to your armpits or down the side of your torso. And then just keep that pressure. So squeezing, soften through the hips. Nice deep breath in. Again, you can roll from side to side if you wish. Start to straighten the legs. Okay, you can lift your bum again. Try and bring your feet all the way as far over as you can. Straighten the legs. Soften, come back to where we started, low back hits the floor, squeeze, release the toes, uh, knees to the ground, arms out to the side, release your knees to the left, okay, spinal twist, breathe, knees back up, and release your knees to the other side. Knees come back up. And then nice and slowly, straighten your legs, come into final relaxation, savasana. Arms down by your sides, tuck your chin in, palms facing up, rotating your off shoulders externally. Allow your feet to hop out to the sides, make sure your low back is nicely relaxed or contacting with the floor, or just gently arched, depending on the shape of your body. Okay, you can always just squeeze your core and press your low back into the floor a couple of moments and relax it, see what happens. OK, 
Okay, if it's too much of a bend, then just bend your knees. Okay, and do your low back and hit the floor. Okay, wherever it's comfortable, start to focus on your breath. Nice steady breaths in and out of your nostrils. And then feel everything that we've been using, that lovely blood flowing through the central part of your body. Focus in on it, feel it, relax it, soften it. Okay, so anything you feel uh, engaged, try and release it, soften it, relax it. Feel the movement in your chest, belly. Relax the muscles of your face, cheeks, chin, mouth, tongue even. Breathing in, relax. Breathing out, relax. And then just remain for as long as you need to replenish the body, relax through your body, two or three minutes at least. Take a breath in, arms up and over your head, give your body a lovely long stretch, point the toes, flex the feet, nice and slowly, bend the knees, roll over to one side or the other, and then using your hand, press yourself back up to a comfortable sitting position. Come into prayer mudra, relax your elbows, close your eyes, nice straight spine, a couple of nice deep breaths, Namaste. Thank you very much.